and welcome um, to your weekly element forecast for, I think, what, the 22nd to the 29th. <laughs> um, so the hard stop energy is, you know, around uh, the 29th, which I think is a Saturday. It should be, but until next Saturday. Um, so what we have here is your child's uh, kind of mood or energy, what's happening, what's changing the solution, and cards for parents. So um, we do earth, fire, then um, water, and air. So, oh, nice. Earth, developing mental clarity, a very stable card. Um, I think, weren't they dealing with some kind of abandonment? Or maybe that was someone else. Self-employment, which also sounds like them, very much so. Um, and laughter. And um, we'll do the card for the parents last. But, yeah, the purple card, which is very regal, very majestic. Um, and it says, it, it speaks of developing mental clarity. So I almost feel like your child will be um, very stable mentally this week. There's this dutifulness to kind of have, to be in order, to have their ducks in a row for everything to run smoothly. It's an emphasis on a desire for things to just be, you know, to run smoothly. Um, but parent, like, Mental clarity is paramount. It's of high importance for them next week. Um, I don't know what they would feel abandoned in. Let's see if I can get a little bit more insight on this. I mean, I get that. It speaks of like remaining apart But I, I get like the child withdrawing when it's in reverse. But I don't know what they're withdrawing from. And it doesn't feel bad. They may be taking some time to themselves and just isolating themselves so that they can, you know, be enterprising and whatnot. So self-employment, I see them working on a project this upcoming week something that's um, really important to them. It brings them joy, um, but it's, it's, it's like something motivating that's pushing them forward that they desire to, um, you know, put their energy into something passionate. So that's a good thing. Um, but the solution, I see them laughing. I see, again, like a lot of joy. It says, uplift yourself and those around you through loving laughter. So lighthearted, very purposeful, focused week, um, engineering, just, it, it feels very um, fatherly or paternal, wanting to get things done, um, be very, you know, orderly, organized, um, progressive, and progressive isn't the right word, but I just think of a dad. A, a father who wants to take care of their family, their children, um, and just wants to make sure that everything is or in order so that uh, he can get, um, you know, so that his family can get the most out of that life experience. So I know that this is referring to children, but regardless of the child's age, regardless of if they're a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, there's some kind of enterprising focus, some, something that, um, that they're passionate about that um, holds their attention and they want to get it done. They want to focus on it. They may isolate themselves or focus on it, but it brings them joy 
um, and there's some laughter attached to that as well. So for the parents, and yet again, this card kept coming up, and this makes so much sense. You probably are laser focused yourself. Um, it says today I'm all, all about taking specific action, completing specific tasks to accomplish specific goals. Every thought, every word, and every step gets me closer to today's goals. I am razor sharp. So it's so interesting how uh, those things work out. I hope, yeah, you can see those. So that's for our earth signs, our Capricorn, our Virgos, um, our Tauruses. And I'm just excited for the week uh, that you're going to have. And let me know, you know, how your week goes um, in the comment section. So now we're moving on to fire. That is our, um, our Aries, our, I almost forgot, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarians. So your energy for this week. Hmm. Flexible. So... Nice, some action. I see something becoming like unearthed for them. Um, so I, I almost feel like um, what no longer serves them is like coming undone. Yay, good stuff. Okay, so for our, um, our fire signs, um, we have establishing boundaries in reverse. This tells me that there's some kind of shakeup, some kind of um, unsettledness uh, coming for this upcoming week. It could be good, it could be bad, but I guess maybe there is no good, there is no bad, it just is. So it, it depends on their response if, it, if it's something that creates stress because they're not in control of it. Um, that's the only thing that I can really see as being bad because ultimately the shakeup will serve their highest good. So um, I just feel emotionally uh, like frazzled, unsettling energy. Like, no, I wanted is this, you know, it's, it's happening outside of their comfort zone. Um, as far as established boundaries or some boundaries not being respected and not even respected just whatever way that they have about going about something it will be disrupted and interrupted and that brings like unsettling peace to them and I just see something being upheaved and unearthed um, that doesn't meet their personal expectation okay um, the challenge I mean they got they have to be flexible and they are, they, they, I don't see them resisting the flexibility. I see them, you know, going with the flow. I see them, okay, this isn't what I was expecting, but all right, you know, I can work with it. I don't see anything upsetting. And then this further um, gives me some reassurance because it says, take the next step now. So this is a time of action. I almost feel like something, an expectation doesn't go their way, but it serves their highest good. And it, it prompts, you know, this opportunity to take action now. So take the next step, whatever that is. That's what's changing is, you know, moving forward. Um, but there's some healing involved. So I think there's some maturity happening for our fire signs. It says, this situation has been triggered by one of your past lives. Heal the past and bring, um, and you bring healing to the present. So I don't know what that all entails, but um, just something to consider. And for our parents, you have, I am loving in reverse. Um, it says, today I will spread my love amongst my nearest and dearest. I will let them know how much I care. And, and so they know that they are loved and worthy, just as I know I am. I feel a sense of reclusiveness. I feel like you may not be in a good mood this week. You may be like, ah, 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 you know, like just on edge or uh, unnerved, um, but not in, not 
in the, the best of loving moods. You, you may not want to be bothered. You may not want people close to you. You may not want to be touchy. You just kind of need more space to yourself this week. Um, don't know what that means, but that's what I'm going to go with. Um, anything else? I feel like you're pushing somebody away. I feel like there could have been, for some of you, an external um, situation with a person that they have rubbed you the wrong way and irritated you. It could be at home, it could be at work, but just somebody, something that they didn't think before they did or said something, and it, it affected you, obviously. It impacted you, and it just, like, put you in a... A frustrating place so that's something to be mindful of it's just a week the energy changes um, but at least if it's something that applies to you you can be mindful of, of how to navigate it so it doesn't completely upset your week okay so that is for our fire signs Capricorn why do I want to say Capricorn um, Aries Leo and Sagittarius Moving on to our water babies. Yay! Action and grounded energy. Yay! That's awesome. Cleaning something up. Maybe helping mom and dad or just taking the more caretaking role. Okay. And I, I see them, you know, being in their own element. So for our, um, our Pisces, our Aquarians, are um no that's air <laughs> it's like wait a minute i have two fixed signs where's my cardinal so our cancer our um scorpio and our pisces um that's anyway i'm like i went out of order it threw me off so they have the jade card of taking action a very grounded card very self-assured card so your children for this upcoming week um, they may feel very confident in what they're doing. There's passion to what they're doing, um, pursuing something that, um, you know, they enjoy. I also see a level of analytical skills and problem solving. They're going to have to because they're inspired to put something in order to clean it up, put stuff the way that it's supposed to be, get things in alignment. Um, this could apply to their room. This could be, you know, applying to school whether it's college or preparing for, you know, something um, for school. Um, but I just see them desiring to kind of keep things in order or fix something. Um, they have per parental care. So if they're young, you may, they may feel very dutiful or action oriented and you may find them wanting to help you more this week being, you know, how can I help? How can I, you know, serve or do my part in the family? Um, if you're sick, then you may, they want to be doting, but I see them interacting and helping uh, mom and dad more, okay? And um, you know, the solution is they're not giving in to peer pressure, I don't think. I think they're very self-assured um, this week. Um, they have a peer pressure card in reverse, which is awesome, and it says don't let others coerce you into a decision. You know in your heart what the right choice is and they're definitely confident they're very self-assured they're not giving into peer pressure so this is excellent energy for water science who can be emotional and sometimes be influenced by their emotions because they care they're very giving from what i've um, experienced and know of uh, water science so parents of water signs i don't know if this came up for you before but you are focused on being super sexy this week. Again, confident, strong, uh, a, a vibrato that you're bringing to the table. And it says, I'm committed to being the sensuous, sassy, and sexy goddess or god who I know uh, lives inside me. I am a glitter bomb of glorious feminine or masculine power that cannot be diminished. Today, I will enjoy and relish every moment of my femininity, femininity or masculinity. So... 
I just feel a very confident, self-assured energy. I'm very vivacious, vi vivacious and a lot of vibrato and all that good stuff. So this is, this is for your, your water signs, Capricorn. Why do I keep wanting to say Capricorn? Um, hmm. Very long-winded today. Cancer, Scorpio, and uh, Pisces. So moving on to our air signs, which is Gemini, um, Aquarius, and Libra. I was, I was about to say Virgo. It's like, no! <laughs> Mixing them up. Oh, nice. Um, so grounding yourself. Um, okay, something is unsettled here for our air signs, which, yep, makes sense. Yep, yes, right on point. Okay, so this, this auburn, it says ground yourself. The color itself is not very rich. It's still kind of like reddish, which gives me almost indigestion and I, I feel your child may feel that like they may have some anxiety about something this week um but you're being asked to ground yourself or you know your child and kind of you know take stock of what's going on in your life um as as best as they can help them to kind of place and pinpoint what's really happening and what deserves their attention because a lot of stuff may not it, it just may be filler or things that they are worrying about that don't apply to this very moment so how you can help them is helping them to you know ask them what what needs to be done today or helping them prioritize their thoughts is what i'm trying to get at this reminds me and not to be graphic but if you have like um, fiery bowels, like you feel like the onset of like the runs or diarrhea, like this color reminds me of how like my lower digestive tract feels like. I'm just like, oh, it feels like it's going to be a wet poop or something like that. I know, very graphic, but you know, I've, you've been there too, so that's why I'm sharing. Anyway, you have, um, new life in reverse so this is like a fresh start this is you know something finished and coming into a new chapter but the fact that it's in reverse just tells me that it's almost like a cap like no you're not starting anything new it's not necessarily more of the old but the ability to like move forward is there's like a um, some kind of limitation or hindrance. Let's get some more details on this. So, it says, you must acknowledge your inexperience and gently allow yourself to be like the delicate new bud opening. It's okay to admit that you may not know something. You are at the beginning of things and having it hit your stride. Be immersed in the newness of it all. Don't try to rush the learning process. New life has its own timetable for maturity. Be here now. Life loves you. And again, it's saying the same thing. Um, you know, prioritize right now. Um, but this new life in reverse, I just, I feel like it's not time. You know, like they, it, it's, I feel like, like I said, a limitation, you know, a cap. Something is not yet ready um, to move forward. Um, but what is changing is, you know, something is moving. There's a, a, you know, whether it be anxiety or maybe something is changing in their life. Um, maybe that's causing them anxiety, some change that's happening. Um, but there is a transition. There is some shifting. So where they started at the beginning of the week may not be where they end. Um, something along those lines. And finally, for them, they have to let go of the anxiety. They have to let go of what's unsettling them for sure. And a lot of times it's in their mind because that's where it originates. It says, it says, calm your nerves and you'll be able to hear the voice of your angels. So, you know, you, the universe wants to speak to them, help them uh, get calm by prioritizing what do they need to do or handle right now. 
and depending on the age, you will have to use the appropriate ver verbiage, like how can mommy help you? How can I help you? You know, um, what else? Or, you know, just helping them to, you know, what hurts? You know, what do you need? You know, what are you thinking about? What's wrong? Help get in. Asking them those questions that will get them to the place where they can take a breath and you may want to even do breathing meditation with them um, where they can calm down and release some of this anxiety that's kind of got them all bound up figuratively and maybe literally. So you have a, if this was in the reverse, um, but I was just showing you what it looks like. You have, I am honest, I am committed. Today I'm committed to staying true to myself and those around me. I will not try to be something I am not and do not strive to, and I do not strive to impress others. What you see is what I am, and what I am is what you get. My goal is not to impress, but rather to spread good vibes through the community, my work environment, family, friends, and those I am, I come in contact with by staying true, I will inspire. There's something that you're hiding. There's something that you don't feel comfortable sharing. There's something like a, a vulnerability that you are not bringing forth to the table. Um, some, something that you are not disclosing or choosing and you don't feel comfortable sharing it. Um, so there could be a little bit of anxiety with you, but something that you're hiding for sure this week. Um, and it's okay, you know, People will ask and wonder, depending on what they are, but I would just encourage you as best as you can, process it, work through it, don't, um, you know, hold too tightly to it or, you know, allow it to fester and get too deep, but just acknowledge it. And however it runs in your life, you know, for this week, be in contact with it, observe it, acknowledge it, but do not let it be so heavy that it, it stops your productivity for the week. So. Um, those are the messages for this upcoming week um, through the 29th, next Saturday. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and we will see you again next time. Take care.